Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Uh, what we should do, um, is... I hate to do this. I hate, every time I have to take magic off of her, um, it really, it kind of bothers me. We have steel. Uh, let's get rid of throw, I guess. Um, because I want to send him. And I'm not gonna, well, you know what? I actually probably could... Doesn't he have chocobo lure on? Doesn't somebody have ch or did I take that off? Oh, we don't need another long range. Okay. I had better save at this point. Because, geez. Just in case. Now, uh, it's actually the battle against... Um, the battle against the ultimate weapon will be in multiple parts. But, uh, for us it should just be two. So there we go. And what do you want? It's an ultimate weapon. Alright. Okay, I would like her. If she can't wait. She can't reach to steel? Really? Oh, we can't sense it either. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. Oh, I I thought for sure we had her. Um. Okay, we we I believe we cannot kill. Um. I believe we cannot kill this weapon. So, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we want to we want to get it down to twenty thousand hit points. It has a hundred thousand. This actually should kill it, but I don't think it will. I am a little surprised that we can't steal from it because we can't touch it. Because, like, if we had a ranged weapon, like, we could hit it and mug it, I think. And that doesn't make any sense. Your bullet can't steal an item. So yeah, so my guess is it's gonna fly, it'll fly off. There's one place it goes, uh, to get, or like when it's, when it's ready for the final battle against you. So I'm hoping it just goes there. Because we shouldn't get any experience for this fight at all. Yeah, I'll just do this. This is gonna take off. It's tired of getting beaten up by us. So maybe this is the one, I guess, that we were beating up outside of wherever. So maybe this one had the lowered hit points. Now, uh, usually if you beat him up and he flies away and you don't have done 20,000, you could chase him around the world map. It's like the most obnoxious thing ever. Because, I mean, he just zigzags everywhere before he decides where he's going to go. But if you get him down to 20,000, where he should go is into Cosmo Canyon. Yeah, we're good. That's exactly where we want him to be. All right. So, what we need to do with her... I will deal without throw. I have a mastered long range. Wait, what, what's it matter? It doesn't matter at all. Okay. 
Now, I do want to say, she has all three of our enemy skills equipped. Uh, because... She doesn't have the triple growth stuff going on, which helps. Um, but it also has to do with the fact that... Um, there's going to be an enemy skill we get as the final attack from this enemy. From Ultimate Weapon. Rawr! Yeah, see, she can steal. But the only thing it would have is the curse ring. So, and we've already uh, taken care of that. I want big guard up. Because the last enemy skill is nasty. Super nasty. Ah, Don't Ultima Beam her. Stop it. You're kind of a jerk. Alright. <sighs> well, X potion her. And then again, uh, Knights of the Round will end this fight instantly. I could have mimed it, I guess. What's it doing? Ow. Okay. I don't know what that was, but... Now, uh, killing Ultimate Weapon will unlock a few things for us. First off, we get Ultimate Weapon from it, which is uh, Cloud's... Um, ult or Switch's Ultimate Weapon. Yeah. Right. It From Ultimate Weapon, you get Ultimate Weapon, which is the main character's Ultimate Weapon. Yeah, that's the thing that's going on here. Um... Also, we'll get a crap ton of AP. Um, and, if you haven't gotten to the Ancient Forest yet, this is your automatic uh, entrance. Now, getting into the Ancient Forest, all you really need is a Mountain Chocobo, which is pretty basic stuff. But, uh, this guy has a final attack, so... Wow, this is lengthy animation. But we knew that. Alright, this should be a dead ultimate weapon. So now he should just use Shadow Flare. Oh, it's it's person specific. Wow. That was a crazy amount of AP. Um all right. So, now this thing is going to explode. All right, and leaves this crater. Now, see, this will allow us to just walk up to the ancient forest. All right, I have to go check to see whether or not we, um... There's some other stuff I want to check out. But if we can't get Shadow Flare um, at this point, uh, I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to redo this. Which isn't a huge deal, but okay. I need to. I need to go. Ch gold chocobo, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Because again, there's something I want to check out. Uh, I've been seeing a cave up north, and I want to see what it is.
We have three gold chocobos now, so. And I, I believe the speed, their speed on the world map is standard, so. I do like how they glitch over absolutely everything. And I'm sure that this cave is just something ordinary, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't think we missed a Materia cave. It's not here. I've been seeing it up in just these... Right here. What is this place? Oh, I see. Okay, well that makes sense. Kinda. I guess. Let's waste an Omni Slash. Oh, that's nuts. That's so stupid. We literally, we dice them, we can put them in soup now. Alright everybody, uh, I will be back with information on Shadow Flare. And, uh, something else I want to try. So, uh, I will see you guys for that, and, uh, bye for now. All right, so uh, I did go back and reload my game and do redo the fight with Ultimate Weapon uh, to get Shadow Flare on our enemy skill materia because we need to do that. And then the thing I wanted to try, well, we'll get to that. Of course, of course we'll get to it. Of course we will. So this battle was no more uh, spectacular than the other one. Uh, although he does focus Shadow Flare as uh, a final attack, I think, on the character that kills him, so. Anyway, it worked. Um, I should say, you can get Shadow Flare way later in the game on Disc 3. So, getting it from Ultimate Weapon is not crucial. And there we go. So, Ultimate Weapon. The Ultimate Weapon from Ultimate Weapon. And we will show him blowing up again, because why not? It's a thing that happened. It's a it's a once in a game event. Alright. That is an impressive crater. Anyway, uh so the thing that I wanted to do was I I'm going back to the underwater reactor to get the guidebook for the Calm Traveler quest. But you can see we got our enemy skill here, so... All of them have Shadow Flare. So, uh... The Calm Traveler is located in this house in the first city outside of Midgar. Calm. And the reason he is called the Calm Traveler is because of his dialogue. The world's changed a lot the past few days. That huge monster meteor was covering up the sky and acting like he owed it or something. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. So he wants these things. He wants a guidebook, a rose of blooms, the desert rose, and the earth harp. And he, he wants you to be... It's implied you should bring them to him. Now, the easiest one to get is the guidebook. All you have to do is morph a ghost ship. You can do that in the battle arena or at the underwater reactor. So, we're going to go get one at the underwater reactor. The other two you have to beat the optional weapons for. So, ruby weapon and emerald weapon. We'll be doing that eventually, but not right now. So, uh, it's a long, long trek down into the underwater reactor. But essentially, you just want to go in as far as this water hallway. And then run around until you randomly encounter a ghost ship. They look like ghost ships. See? 
It's a ghost ship. Enough said. So we will sense it. And it'll slap us with its oar. And there's 6,600. Seriously, with the conformer, this is not going to be an issue. And that's it. We, it. That seriously is the entire point of, or well, you know, it's it's one third of the Calm Traveler side quest. So there we go. One shot. Changed into guidebook. And now we got to take it back to that guy. And he'll give us something. He'll give us a something. No, he, well. What he ends up giving us is a piece of materia called underwater materia. It's not like any of the other materias. What it does do is it lets us breathe underwater so we have an, an unlimited amount of time to fight Emerald Weapon. Because if you fight him without that equipped, you have a 20-minute time limit. And it's reasonably hard to beat Emerald Weapon in 20 minutes. So here we go. Oh, it's guidebook! Want to trade it for this underwater materia? And yes, we do. We always get another guidebook. And I, like, walk over and, like, pull it out from somewhere. It's so weird. It's in his nightstand. Like, I keep a book here and this. This materia. So there it is. Now he just needs two more things. So, uh, when we come back, I'm actually going to be going over limit breaks. All of the limit breaks that uh, I haven't shown because we got them all and I recorded them in a bad format. So, we'll be showing that and then we'll be continuing on with our videos. So, I will see you for that and uh, you guys take care. Bye, everybody.